Welcome to Trading Lounge and the European Indices and starting with the DAX here on the 4 hour chart, the Elliott Wave count. We're calling this as a low in place here as wave E of 4 and we're looking for the market to build to the upside. And it's going quite well actually because we can now count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. So we've got our first impulse wave to the upside. We can expect wave 2 to be sharp and swift, uh, pulling back down to the 50-60% area. I've coloured this box in here, the 50 and the 61.8% mark, sitting on the top of trading levels group 1 here of 300. We can definitely expect a bounce there, so buying on that 12.3 would be um, reasonably safe. Um, so uh, from that point, we would expect the market to move up from, from there. Of course, the safe trade would be allow this to unfold here and then get the first impulse wave to the upside in five waves uh, and then pulling back there. So let's just go into the hourly chart here. So um, yeah, wave one up here. We've got one and two and three and four and five here for wave one. And we're looking for uh, an ABC back. It's a little bit complicated, but um, we'll look at the, for all of this leg here as the A wave, up for the B wave, and then down for the C wave. It's possible that this can be the A wave, the B wave, and the C wave to here. And we've got wave one here and wave two here, and we go straight up from from this point here as well. So if that's the case, we need to be long above this number here. And also, we just, well, I've got the green line here, but if it pulls back down into the 300 here, this is the area to get it off. I've left this trend line in place because I kind of understand uh, some of the subtleties of trend lines. So um, what can occur here is it can <clears throat> sit on the trend line and then bounce off that as well. <clears throat> but <clears throat> I have more faith in this number here, the number three, um, if that's going to be the case. So if this low is breached here, then um, we'll look down a little bit lower in this space here. The other point here too is that I'll just borrow that segment and put it here as well. Because, and let me just clean this mess up here. So I don't need that now. Let's just talk a little bit more on strategy here if this um, if this does move down through here and you and you miss it at this point it doesn't quite get to the 300 um, and just sort of gets into this space here if we can get some support on this level here the on the 400 and getting the first high above the level as a trigger point here one point above that uh, there so that would be the place to um, to, to be long at and of course the same for the 500 over here really as well I mean that's a nice reference point but same thing occurs the arrival the reaction the first high above the level uh, as your reference point and then you'll get the corrective move wherever that's going to play out and then you'll get your move up so uh, there's an opportunity to get three positions into here of course getting a position on top of the 500 would be um, a larger position so a smaller position a small position uh, and then expect a correction here um, but then certainly building in strong on top of the 500 area here and this pattern here is the same for I'll just save that this is the same for the Netherlands as well uh, the AEX here we're looking at the AEX on an hourly chart here so we were trading and looking at uh, this pattern moving up here so the 50 60 percent retracement level is, is down here further and would look at this as the a wave to here the b wave here and the c wave moving down here so we expect it to come down a little bit further but there is some nice support down in here so once again here the closest number would be the 560 so any move down below here and then back up through here would be um, you know, would be the, the, the space to get it uh, into and uh, taking those tops out here. So, of course, you could also buy into the box here as well. But um, if I just darken this line here for a second, put this in, put it in a dark space. And here we've got just subtleties here. So we've got 6561. 562 and 563 here they make up group one and then we've got five here and then we've got group two with eight here so 
all of these levels here are where you can build in. You can build in on, if you can see support on top of the 60, then you can get a position, then another position on one and two and three here. And then if there's support on three, you know you're going to get to five at that point. So you can build onto that one there as well. There'll be profit taking at eight here. But if we're looking at wave three moving up strongly here, then, um, then um, you know, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it will be a strong wave. So wave with wave two to wave three here, this wave three will be longer than wave one. So all of this area here is your building blocks for your next trade. So just keep building into that. Just save that. And the FTSE is heading lower. <clears throat> so um, if you've been following this market here, um, I, it's been a little bit bit tricky because, but we I think we handled it quite well um, here because we could have had this wave five here sitting over here on this one here, as you know, but we weren't going to turn bullish. <clears throat> we did a long trade over here and we got to break even, but we weren't really going to turn bullish unless we had the 7650 here as the support. Um, that's the halfway mark between numbers five and eight, and it was always significant. And um, we just didn't get that support there. So um, this is the correct interpretation here as wave four. And we're looking for wave five to, to move down here. So I may as well label that while I'm here. I'll just borrow this, copy this would be uh, wave, wave one to there, wave two to there. One, two, three, four, five, wave three to here. Probably haven't finished. A wave four and then a wave five heading down into this space here, a little lower. Once that wave, once that finishes here and you start to see it climb here, if you take that high here and that low here, wherever that may be, then um, this is the 38.2% retracement level that you're looking for. So basically, we can just use the wave four of one less degree. So wherever that comes in, it's going to come back close to that and then down again from that point there. And uh, wave one here and wave five will be roughly the same. So we're probably looking down at seven four area here. And it's probably a good idea to put that there. <clears throat> so that's that's that really. So you can look to buy on that on that current low there as well. So I'm just going to go to the daily chart in a second. I'm just doing a bit of housework here. I know that this is not why you're paying the big bucks for to watch me do this, but um, I'm a bit time poor, so um, there we go. So <clears throat> I'll just save that. We'll have a look at on the daily chart so we've got an understanding of the bigger picture. So this is what we were looking at here. Um, I was never sure if this was wave C here, but now I know that it's not. Um, and we can follow this pathway here. So an A wave here, a B wave here, and one and two and three, and just a big ugly wave four, and then down for wave five. It may not pull all the way down here. Um, like I said, like the seven four, it would be fine as well. It will depend on the other European markets and what's going on in general sense and the US markets and so on. So, but yeah, anyway, that's where that's finishing off. And these moves down uh, in these markets uh, will also be pulling on the Italian MIB here as well. So <clears throat> I had the same problem here as well um, in that um, it, it appeared that I could count wave one and two and three and four and five here. But I was always concerned about this because wave four was so small compared to wave two. Um, but this looked like quite nice. So then I just have to call this wave one and two here and then wave three here. So um, yeah, anyway, wave four looks like it's going to be over here. <clears throat> but I can't even confirm that until this is actually finished here. So um, we just still need to, to, to wait. But it does appear that this is probably wave four. But um, 
Yeah, let's just go to the hourly chart here for a moment. Yeah, it's probably better suited as wave four, but that would leave this as copying that here as wave one here, wave two here, wave three coming down here with one and two and three. So it's still not quite finished. Wave three, four and five coming down here further. I mean, it needs to take this low out here. This was our, um, this was, this is our 50 60 percent retracement level in here let's just redo that here from the highs there i have to take it to that high that leaves us at the 50 60 percent retracement level from that point so the original count still could be could be okay um, but we don't want to see this drift down any further if that's going to be the case Sorry, I'm just <clears throat> I'm just looking at it. Um, yeah, I still don't have any answers for all of this, but um, this green line here, we can go we can go long pretty much anywhere in this space here. So um, if there's support, well, within group two here, which is the 650 area here, support in here, we can go long. We can take that, we can go long on here, um, but otherwise we need to be looking for further downside here. Yeah, I mean the FTSE still got to go down lower as well, so um, it's possible that this is the A, the B, and the C wave into this space here, and we and we push up, but um, it's all about this here and coming too close to that. Um, technically, until it breaks that, um, this the wave one is still um, still okay, but it does look like this wave one here is an A wave and a B wave. Uh, and then the C wave up to here to finish this correction here as a wave four here, this wave four here, um, sitting here, and then wave one and two and three and four and five. Yeah, I mean, because the market never really got support on the 21 here, then it's, it's going to be pulled to this number, and that looks like what's occurring here. Um, so um, as it stands, just to recap this, we can't go long unless we're back into group two here. And otherwise, um, we need to look at this market being pulled down up uh, further, closer to the um, to to the the twenty thousand here. Not that it has to actually touch the twenty thousand either. I mean, if those other European markets are going to be pushing up, well, then it's going to pull this up as well, and they'll be going into a third wave to the upside. When we looked at the um, the DAX and the AEX. And the FTSE's got one more. The FTSE and this here have got the same sort of pattern to the downside. They've still got uh, wave four and wave five to go. Um, yeah, and so, yeah, they're kind of lagging in a way. So they'll, they'll probably be the last ones to, to lift where where the DAX and the AEX will, will lift um, first. So um, if there's going to be a bounce here, it's going to be off the 20,300 here, the top of group one, the same as it's done over here. Um, and that will probably cause this here. This just doesn't look like it's finished here. Just hang on a sec. Okay, this is on the tick chart, 100 ticks. So wave three here, an A wave here, B wave here and C wave here for wave four. I'd have to look at this as wave one here, wave two here, and then looking, just expand this open a little bit. And then all of this wave one here, two here, and this would count as one and two and three and four and five here for the third wave to 
FB in play. Then there'll be the fourth wave here that will come back up and test this. Then wave five down for wave three, back for wave four that should pull back to this wave four here, and then wave five to the downside here. Um, how far wave five will come down, I'm not too sure, but um, this is not finished uh, yet. There will be, um, in terms of the levels, um, one, two, and three here, and of course we've got five here and eight here. With eight, there's also um, subgroup two within in here as well. So the 720 in here and the 650 uh, in here as well as part of group two. So normally when we're um, trading these markets as such, when we're using these numbers here, 720, close enough. And the 650 here, close enough. Once the market plays um, below this number here, then we normally look to short at this stage. If I've got two there, have I? Right, I need that one. Once the market is below this group two level, then it's normally shorting and above that is long above that but um, we're certainly well below that and we're dancing with this particular number here um, i don't think this is finished the 300 is going to see a bounce here um, and this is where wave three will come in back to wave four uh, and then moving down through here but i think one of the things to do is to line this move up here with the um with, with the with the DAX and also the FTSE as well. All right, I'll leave it at that. Um, not a great deal sort of uh, happening. And, and, and even when this comes down here further, it's going to be a bit of a rough ride as well here. Um, but anyway, let's just play it all out. And, and once we've got this low in place, then we can work the next impulse wave to the upside, which will be a little bit more exciting than what we've been going through at the moment. All righty, cheers.